Hi, hope everyone is doing well, having a good, safe holiday season. I'm here in Puerto Rico right now for the holidays, been here for about a week. And before we get into this video, let's go grab some food. I've been eating a lot of mofongo, which is one of the uh, quintessential dishes here in Puerto Rico. Mmm, just with some hot sauce, right? Plain and change. Kind of just like a fried ball of mashed potatoes. First time ever having it was when I came to Puerto Rico, first night. Love it. Skirt steak. Mm. And some mofongo. Anyway, this video you're about to see was filmed, I think, over a month ago. And before we get to this Disney video, a big thank you and shout out to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video and continuing to support this channel. I've been talking about Surfshark VPN for over two years now. Still a product I use every single day. First of all, digital security, a big issue right now, especially when people are traveling more and more, connecting to random Wi-Fi hotspots, which are all great places for people to have access to your personal information. I give this example a lot. When you're Google searching for something or when you're talking to your friends about something, all of a sudden you see ads for whatever you were talking about or something closely related to whatever you were talking about appearing everywhere. That's people getting access to your personal information. So what a VPN is, is a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does is that it encrypts and secures your personal information before it goes over the internet. So people who you don't want having access to this personal information, they won't have access to it. Surfshark also has something called Surfshark Alert. So if anyone's trying to have access to something like their email, you're gonna get notified right away. Again, a product I've been using for over two years, highly recommend it. Also on the entertainment side, if you're sick of whatever you're watching on Netflix and you want to see what Netflix is like on a different country, you can use Surfshark VPN to get on a server in a different country, which tricks Netflix into thinking that you're actually over in another country and you get all their movies and TV shows. Only bad thing about that, trying to watch anime on Japan's Netflix, no English subtitles. Or if you're out of the country and trying to log on to a US streaming service, they won't let you. So you can use Surfshark VPN to, again, trick streaming services like Hulu and Crunchyroll into thinking they're actually back in the US, so you can have access to those services as well. They let you try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for whatever reason, get your money back. And if you go to my link down below, use my promo code Dumpling, you get 84% off your water plus four additional months for free. Seriously, try it out. If you don't like it, get your money back. Go buy yourself some dumplings. All right, I gotta go back to my steak and my fungo because if it gets cold, it's less fungo. All right, enjoy the video. Today, eating at the happiest place on earth. Is this still the happiest place on earth? I think Disney World is. But this Not is, this place? This is the second. Second happiest? Because it's a little bit smaller. <laughs> Good enough. First stop at Disney, um, not a ride, of course, at the Jolly Bakery Buffet. Sorry, I don't know why I said buffet. Jolly Holly Bakery Cafe. That's that's what I meant. So here, the musket item is just a combo, the grilled cheese sandwich, and the tomato and basil soup. I'm telling you, looking at photos, coming to Disney this time, food is looking spectacular. Also, I think the price for this, like it's not something you would, you would think at an amusement park. You'd think something like this would be like maybe 16, 20 bucks. I think around $10 for this. It's actually so good. I mean, Mickey's been taking cooking lessons. Wow, it's creamy, it's velvety, it's nice chunks of tomatoes and a little sweet. This is delicious. Dip the grilled cheese in there. Oh. 
only in compliant. This is not freshly made, so it's not gonna be melty, but that's good. The toast is oh so buttery. Cheese is delicious, especially dipped in that tomato basil soup. Holy moly, this is good. Mmm. I wanna dip all sandwiches in this tomato soup. Luckily, I got one more sandwich. Check this sandwich out. Um, by the way, I'm here during the holiday season, so this is what the holiday season looks like inside Disney. So right now, there's a lot of holiday-themed stuff. You see Cinderella's castle is covered in snow, although I'm pretty sure, like, I've seen houses in Texas bigger than that. Anyway, this sandwich, sliced turkey, cranberry stuffing, and you can drizzle the gravy on here. Oh, that turkey's dry. Oh, it's definitely not as good as the grilled cheese sandwich. It does taste like a Thanksgiving dinner, though. Mmm. Actually, the bite in the middle with the cranberry sauce and the stuffing, that's not a bad bite. See what that tastes like dipped into the tomato basil soup instead of the gravy. All sandwiches, all bread for that matter, it will all taste better in this tomato soup. This is amazing. This is just okay. Grilled cheese. Get that. Get the combo. Highly recommend. This is really cool. Look at this. A Mickey Mouse macaroon. Ooh. That's not bad. Oh, macaroon's really good. This thing is just super airy. The sweetness is offset by the tangy raspberries. This is very, very nice macaroon. Also, got a walnut maple cheesecake. Look at this. This thing caught my eye. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow. I don't know if like this cheesecake being made here, they sprinkle some Disney magic on this where they had that rat from Ratatouille cook this where I don't know what's going on. This is a can't miss cheesecake. This is so good. I will miss this cheesecake. How good is that cheesecake? Amazing. Be honest. It's really good, right? I didn't try the macaron yet. I'm more excited about that. Mm, that's good macaron. Oh, that's better. You think that's better than the cheesecake? That one's a little bit overwhelmingly sweet. A little overwhelmingly? Delicious? Sweet? Meaning delicious. I think it's delicious. This is pretty cool. So there's a gambling bowl right there. And look at this pirate ship. Wow, okay, well, not really a pirate ship, but that's a giant ship. Welcome to Docking Bay 7. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. So, got the Andorian Tip Yeep Chicken over mac and cheese in a Batu bun. A Batuan beef pot roast. Whoa, look at this. This is over pasta. Oh, that is tender. Oh, man. You cook roast on a jet engine and it's gonna come out nice. The Star Wars world is so awesome, <laughs> it's so well made. Good. That is tender! Whoa! I didn't think it was gonna be that tender. I really did not. How tender is that? It tastes like restaurant quality almost. Yeah, like seriously. I mean, this thing is just borderline melting your mouth. You don't even need a thing. Huh? You don't even need you barely need to chew this, though. If we got that from a restaurant, we'd be pretty happy with this. This is the fried chicken. All right, first glance, it's just a feeling. Not gonna be as good as the roast. I feel like that chicken was cooked on the Planet Tattoo in because that is deathly dry. Although it has a lot of potential. I mean, the outside seasoning is fantastic and the skin is really crispy. But that's as dry as Darth Vader's humor. There's mac and cheese and vegetables in this as well. That is delicious mac and cheese. I almost didn't get the mac and cheese because I'm thinking like, this is mac and cheese. How good could it be? That is amazing mac and cheese. Am I wrong? Taste the mac and cheese. I'm wrong. 
Okay. Maybe I was just so depressed by the chicken that the mac and cheese tastes so good to me just because it has, you know, moisture. I feel like the bun is just okay. It's basically a chocolate shell with a brownie and some kind of vanilla custard. And the moss on top is just green cake. This is a little overly sweet. Not a fan of this. But if you ever do catch yourself on the galaxy's edge on this planet, get the pot roast. Food break. Roller coaster. Can you even call this a roller coaster? No, a train. Pretty fun. It's pretty long, right? All hands on deck. Stand by to go ashore. Good man, a lot. Into the foot room. Next food stop at the Royal Street Rada Cafe. I never had this before. A pumpkin croquet. And I mean we are, we've all seen clam chowder in a bread bowl. I got one just because I was looking at the reviews. A lot of people love this clam chowder. So I wanted to try it out. But the thing that's really unique here is this. Beef gumbo in a sourdough bread bowl. Start with the pumpkin thing first though. Hatch ripe. But I like it. It tastes like a fried pumpkin pie almost. Filling inside is nice and soft. The outer shell is deliciously chewy and crunchy. Big pumpkin flavor though. Hmm. Oh, really not bad. Best of and delicious. That's freaking delicious clam chowder. I just took a big old chunk of clam. I thought it was a potato. That's how big it was. It turns out to be a clam. I feel weird saying this, but that's amazing clam chowder I just had at Disney. Again, I don't know what it is. It's the Disney magic or that ratatouille guy. So I got his name wrong, Remy. I don't know if Remy's cooking this or if Mickey's just been taking a lot of cooking lessons. Oh, that's deliciously creamy and good. Tabasco sauce. Must have companion with clam chowder. A couple of packs of Tabasco. Three packs for good measure. Don cured sourdough inside. Tastes like day old sourdough. In this case, clam chowder. Way better than the sourdough bread itself. Steak gumbo in a sourdough. That's not bad. Steak is tender, big, giant cut celery, rice, tomatoes, thick and gooey and a little bit spicy. Soup rep ball here at Disney. Really, really good, especially that clam chowder. I would highly recommend getting yourself a clam chowder when you're here in Disney. Almost not bad, but clam chowder. Oh, I forgot how fun Space Mountain was. Good. Left Disney for a food that can only be found in downtown Disney, which is outside the gate. Pinko crusted pickle dog. So there's a hot dog and a pickle and a corn dog. Dipped in peanut butter. I need this.
hear it. Oh, oh, it is heavy. This is at least a pound. <laughs> it's still oozing oil. Somehow this thing just struck fear in the depths of my soul. And then you dip it in this, Jif creamy peanut butter. One example of Mandela effect. How many of you guys remember Jiffy peanut butter, not Jif? I am not exaggerating. I think this is, might be over a pound. I think it might be two pounds. Dip it best I can in the peanut butter. Oh. Oh, one second. Okay. Seriously, this is really, really good. Yeah, what the heck? The peanut butter? First of all, you ever had a fried pickle before? Fried pickles are delicious. Mm, the pickle crust is super crispy and sweet. And the sweetness is balanced perfectly by the sourness of the pickle. And the hot dog is delicious too. Nice juicy hot dog inside. Also this crazy wizardry of peanut butter on the corn dog. I'm gonna smother this on. Yeah. Just adds an element of creaminess to the crunch. This might be my favorite food item today. I can eat multiples of these by myself. Why have I just heard about this? Mm. Mm. I barely like corn dogs. The difference of a hot dog inside a pickle, tremendous. I'm just gonna start adding peanut butter to all the hot dogs I ever eat. From here on out, my hot dogs gonna come with ketchup, mustard, and peanut butter. This is so good. My last hot food item here in Disney, I think the best. Wow. My final food item of the day is here. <sighs> Can't leave Disney without a milkshake shaped like a mouse. This is really cool. Look, look at it. Rice Krispie Mickey Mouse. Crystal rock candy. I think maybe the tail. This is a thing of beauty. No idea how to even begin with this. Look at this. this, is, this is a, the spoon is like all the way in. It's basically a strawberry shake with whipped cream, rice crispy treats, full of sprinkles. A perfect final food item for me. Mm. I mean, Rice Krispie Treat, good. Milkshake, good. Rock candy that I can eat later on the road. Very good. Always enjoy coming to Disney. I feel like this time the food just like leveled up significantly. I think a lot of people actually are starting to come to Disney for food. I mean, as soon as we came in, we went to the first restaurant, waited in line for about half an hour, and that was in the morning. But tried a lot of food never had before here in Disney. Best thing today, <laughs> it's gotta be that corn dog. I mean, if you just wanna come and like not go into the park and just go to Disney downtown and just eat a corn dog with a pickle inside dipped in a peanut butter, I highly recommend you do that. If you do make it inside the park, go to a galaxy far, far away, get yourself a pot roast, definitely a tomato basil soup and cheese sandwich. Oh, get yourself a clam chowder. Yeah, I mean, I lived in Boston. That to me is still really, really good chowder, how we say chowder. I'm only, I only lived there for like six months. Anyway, if you are planning on visiting Disney here in Anaheim and food is your focus, hopefully this video has been helpful. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.